In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bat out of a toilet paper roll. So first we need a toilet paper roll, some colored markers or crayons, some black paper, scissors, um, some googly eyes or sticker eyes, and then some glue. Um, you can either use stick glue, Elmer's glue, or I like to even use these things called glue dots. They are just like little pre-thing of glue that you just stick right on. And um, so we start with our toilet paper tube. As you can see, I have pre-glued the top. So how you wanna do that is at the top of one of your tubes, you just have to push it in like this and it creates this little U shape here and turn it around and do the same on the other side. And it creates what looks to be, you know, the, the ears of a bat. You can also do this, use it the same way to make it look like an owl, like the horned owl. So in order for it to stay, you can tape it down or you can use some hot glue ahead of time and then just go ahead and glue that down. And once it dries really quickly, then you can go ahead and move on. So the first thing you wanna do is color your bat. Now I know we always think of bats as being black around Halloween time, but we don't always have black bats. There's brown bats, there's white bats even, but the bat that's in um, our children's story is going to be a colorful bat. So this bat can be whatever color that you want. So I am going to just color it. So I'm just gonna make my bat a striped bat. And this is up to you how you wanna decorate your bat. You can use your markers like I'm doing, or you can use crayons, or you can even paint it. Um, not everybody wants to get paint out, so that's okay. You can also cover it with, if you've got some scrap paper, if you wanna work on with your little ones, if you wanna do some ripping and some cutting, just get some little uh, bits of paper, little pieces of paper, and then you can even glue those on like that in more of a collage form. You can use stickers, you can use uh, tissue paper. Really, however you wanna decorate your little owl, that's completely up to you. Um, little ones will spend forever just coloring and decorating. It's a really fun thing to do if you give them that option. Okay, I'm just going to do the front just to kind of show you here. So there's going to be my bat. Got some stripes on them. Maybe I'll put some little polka dots in there too. Because my bat is a fun little whimsical bat. Not just a Halloween bat. Okay, and then for the wings on my black piece of paper... Um, it's going to be hard to kind of see it, but to make bat wings, you just kind of want to take and draw a wide U shape or a wide curve shape, a line down and a line down, and then you just do the, the opposite down here. You just make, make like scalloped or, or a wave pattern. So it kind of looks like the wings of a bat. And you just want to cut that out If it's not perfect, that's all right. You can always correct it as you're cutting um, for the experienced cutters. Um, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So for you got those little hands that are trying to cut, this is a good practice for the different kinds of lines they can cut. So there is our bat wings here. So then you want to put your bat wings on the back of your bat. So this is where your glue comes in handy. You can use some stick glue. You're going to have to make sure you, you, you hold it on for a little bit. Hot glue would work. Just got to make sure a, a grown-up is doing it. Um, Elmer's glue, or like I used like to use is this glue dots here. It's very, very sticky. And actually all I have to do is just stick it on here and then stick it on the back of my bat just like that and it already just sticks and it's very very adhesive so i do that and then you can put some googly eyes on your bat but i like to use my sticker eyes to make my bat okay you can leave your bat like this you can give your bat a little a little mouth a little smile i'm going to make mine have a little smile but with a couple little couple little bat fangs so there you have it there is your fun little colorful bat that you could do year round because bats don't just come out at halloween they're all the time um, but this one's more of a colorful bat and not necessarily a halloween bat 